Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming out to the Bear Taffy Live show tonight. My name is Bear Taffy, and uh, it's going to be fun tonight. We are going to be playing a little bit of the Stanley Parable. And now, uh, a lot of you may have taken a vote in the straw poll that I was doing a couple of days, for a couple of days on Twitter, and the Prison Architect vote did, in fact, take the top spot. Stanley was a very close second. Uh, but I want to explain the fact that Prison Architect is crashing consistently on me, so unfortunately, uh, I'm going to roll with this for today at least, maybe for Saturday as well. I think uh, what I'm going to do is probably play this, see how much of it I actually get through in the first hour here of tonight's show, and uh, then we'll see how, how things are going, I guess, uh, on Saturday, and hopefully I'm able to get the game going by that time, but not to, not to say that Stanley Parable is not an excellent option as well, because I'm pretty freaking excited to do this tonight as well. Uh, so good to see you all, guys. Uh, yeah, I do have a bit of a cold, unfortunately. You're not wrong. Uh, trying, to, trying to fight it back to stifle the madness. So, uh, let, me, uh, let me tell you guys. First of all, this game is fantastic. I've only played... Um, a, you know, like a measurable m amount of it. I've started it, yes, I think I've probably played... Well, it's really hard to measure how much of it you've played because you really just honestly have no idea how much of it is left at any point in time. But I've maybe seen two endings or so, and I think I've got a lot more in store for me. So, uh, I want to experience this with you guys. Of course, I have the, the uh, subtitles on for you because the narration is obviously a massive part of the game itself. So I think without further ado, I th it's uh, it's about time we dive into the Stanley Parable. Oh, and one more thing before I forget. Uh, if you haven't played this for yourself, I highly, highly, high re highly recommend um, experiencing it by yourself. Uh, that, this is almost me directly saying, if you have an interest in this, or a passing interest at all, or have heard your friends talking about it, please go get it yourself and don't watch this because it is... Um, it's very unique. It's hard to even explain what makes it unique without actually talking about the game itself. So that'll be my fair warning to anybody that's watching on the on the show tonight. And by the way, thank you all so much for coming out to the show tonight. And I, <laughs> a whole bunch of people just left, which is good, because I want them to experience it for themselves. So without further ado, then I think uh, I think that was uh, that was prompt timing. So let's do this. Yeah! Whoa! Perfect. Oh my god, just the guy who likes pie just subscribed. And I'm so sorry that you didn't get to see that because this isn't on the top. Let me move that to the top. A guy who likes, just a guy who likes pie just subscribed. And from now on, I'll have the children screaming with a little notification in the proper place. But thank you. Thank you very, very much, my friend. You were fantastic. And I hope I didn't just break the game. Oh, come on now. Load for me, baby. <laughs> Everyone get out. <laughs> Uh, let me unsub the resub if you want, man. Oh, your sub ran out three days early. Oh, that's lame. Why would it do that? I remember Red Axe. Yeah, I think I saw you on my list. That's interesting. Okay, it is loading. It is loading, so we're getting somewhere. Okay. You don't want to have it spoiled for me? I completely understand. Guys, if you don't want this game to be spoiled for you, I completely this is encourage you not to be here. Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. 
this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Alrighty. And I will issue another warning here, guys. This is when, uh... This is when you ought to leave if you don't want things spoiled for you because we're about to get into the nitty and gritty here. I'm not going to be holding anything back. No holds bar. Balls to the wall. Stanley Parable playthrough. Also let me know if the volume levels are appropriate because I really do want you guys to be able to hear the narrator. In fact, I'm going to shut my mouth as often as possible when he's speaking, which is why I'm not going through this door yet. Um, but uh, I, will, I will give the aforementioned uh, warning again. Uh, there will be full spoilers here, and I'm also going to be telling you guys what I've already experienced and what I have yet to experience. So, uh, let's do it. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to do is I've, I, uh, I've seen that there's an achievement attached to this door. So let's go do this first. One, two... Three. Oh, oh, there we go. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Well, good. Now, suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort <laughs> that warrants recognition. Okay. Uh, this, is, this is a good indicator of things to come. So, all right. 20 clicks. Here we go. You guys can probably hear it too, because my mouse is loud as hell. Hmm. There we go. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly <laughs> 50, 50 clicks. clicks. Okay, here we go. I feel like I'm cooking meth again. <laughs> that's a really, that's a really bad thing to say if you have no idea what I'm referring no, no, to. No, I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put twenty clicks into door number four one seven? Four one seven. All right. Put it a bit louder. Absolutely, I can. Yeah. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and put that at full volume because why not? All right, 417. <laughs> yeah, we were playing a uh, cookie clicker clone, which is kind of funny to say. Uh, but, oh, hey, here we go, 417. Uh, the cookie clicker clone is it's, a, it's like a Breaking Bad thing, and if you know what that is, then you know what I'm talking about. Uh, 20 clicks on 417, here we go. Oh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. <laughs> okay. Now, sometimes I walk by here and I feel like this cup of coffee isn't spilled over it, and that probably doesn't actually mean anything, but there's no way I can look at it and not overthink it, just due to the nature of this game. Uh, am I going the wrong way? Oh, no, here we go. A few times on 1437. I think we're getting somewhere. Now, door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. He's starting to get really excited, which is making me happy. Oh, God. Okay, 415, right? That's what he said. 415, 415. Here we go. This is exactly the kind of thing you guys should expect from this, so just keep that in mind. Uh, now, back to door number 437. Back we go. <laughs> oh my god. This is actually... Well, like, this isn't even part of the storyline. This is, this is such a meta thing that we're doing right now. It's for an achievement. Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine? The copy machine. That's a good idea. Yeah, there it is. The clicking bad link right there. Thank you, Blue Fire. Uh, this is the copy machine, right? All right, back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. <laughs> okay. This is your first Bear Taffy stream, Captain Faffy. I feel like you are in on a joke, or you just have a convenient name. I forgot which one he wants me to click on. I think it's this one. Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. Go climb on his desk. We can't jump. How are we supposed to climb on his desk? This is 419. I can't... Can we look... Oh, here we yes, go. Yes! 
This is nice. great. Nice. You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. I'm going all out. Here we go. I am blindly following directions. I, I do I do as I'm told. Unless it's uh, inconvenient. This is not the correct way. Okay. 416, here we go. He's got a powerful voice. Yeah, it's hard to say no to that guy. We've almost got it! Now the copy <laughs> machine, do that one again! Oh my god. I've played this a little bit and I haven't heard him got this get this excited the entire time. Oh, this is fantastic. Finish it off, Stanley! Five clicks on door <laughs> four, three, zero! Yes. One, two, three, four, five! Yes! Oh we did god. it! <laughs> oh wow, that felt amazing. Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. Really, now? What were you thinking? <laughs> I was out of my mind, man. Let me tell you. Wow, I'm so happy with, like, the entirety of those proceedings. How far we've come. <laughs> Okay, so that was an achievement. That felt good. Uh, let's get out of here. So uh, we'll carry on with the proceedings of the game itself here now. And uh, so I have an idea. Um, what I want to do for the very first playthrough. Uh, well, that'll make sense if you've never played this game before. Uh, it'll make sense in a second here. What I'm going to do for the first playthrough is I'm going to listen to you guys in the chat. So I'm going to let you, whenever we have an option, uh, two options to make or two options to choose between, rather. I'm gonna let you guys decide what we do. So this will be the first example of that, so let's do it. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. So this is the first uh, of many, 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 many options that we're gonna have available to us here. So just tell me what you guys wanna do. You wanna go left, which is what the narrator asked us to do, or do you wanna go right? Cast your votes in the chat now. Well, many, many, many people are saying right. Go for confusion ending. I'm not actually sure what that means. Also, that uh, reminds me, too. I would like it if you guys could keep it spoiler-free for the most part. So, keep me going blind. It's the way to do it. Everyone, pretty much everyone's saying right. Oh, wait, we got an influx of left here now. I'm, I'm, reading, the ro I'm reading a lot of right, which is a tongue twister, and that's fun. Okay, here we go. Let's do it. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I've been known to do that. I had a really nice employee lounge in an old job I had. They had, like, couches and... Oh my god, we had a GameCube for a little while. It was fantastic. Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Delicious. I like the little step here. It's a nice little touch. Purely yes. aesthetic and having no pure really, purpose. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. Yeah! Clearly it's worth it because Elchaz just subscribed. Oh my god, that was the At perfect point, time. Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his <laughs> overall personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. Oh my god, I gotta stay in here. Eltraz, thank you very, very much for subscribing to the channel, my friend. Bear hug for you. This is... <laughs> Stanley sat around like waiting this. for more dialogue. But when a long time had <laughs> passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. This is awesome. I'm, si I'm sitting right here. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. You were you were waiting for something like that. That's awesome, Elchaz. The fourth wall has been broken. You're not wrong. Um, narrator. Perhaps I can get a cup of coffee. I haven't had coffee in a long time. Sounds really good. The clock is actually moving. I was half expecting... Some kind of, you know, like, Picasso-esque construction of time. Uh... Oh, I really I want to leave. I'm getting antsy. Something's gonna happen, though. I can't shut the door. I gotta... I gotta wait! 
<laughs> this this game literally you have this inclination to do nothing purely for the purpose of waiting for something to happen and I can't I, well like I don't know is the thing and I'm glad that I don't because I haven't actually gotten to here and just and just stayed there <laughs> I feel so silly and someone should totally remove that from the chat, please and thank you. There will be more, no more dialogue. He did say there wouldn't be any more dialogue, so maybe, uh... You know, I've never waited this long somewhere and not had anything happen, so I think it's about time we go. Yeah. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room, and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Alright, so we have another option here, guys. We can take the first open door on our left, which I believe takes us to the meeting room, or we can go straight, which takes us to God knows where. Cast your ballots now. Oh wait, no, this isn't the meeting room. This takes us into... somewhere. I don't actually know where that goes. Lots of left, straight, straight up. Is there an up option? <laughs> Can we go? Well, hey, that light's out. Ah, oh, there's a couple more lights out too. Lots of left. I'm seeing a lot of left. Alright, let's go left. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. And now we have a very interesting choice. There's an elevator here with a giant glowing red down button. Or we can go straight through and continue on the merry way. What shall we do? We can choose the obviously more enticing spotlighted giant red button of happiness. Or the boring dull- I think I've already made my mind up. <laughs> here we go. How do we how do we not choose that honestly? It's a, it's, a, it's basically candy exactly. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. <laughs> so now in order to get back he needed to go um uh, 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 from here it's um left. All right. Oh no. No, it's to the right my mistake. <laughs> Easier, easier to shut this one. No, oh, no, God. no, no, not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh, dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? <laughs> I love it when he does that. Now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yeah, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story <laughs> is absolutely, definitely... This way. Ah, that looks better. When he rustles the papers, man, that's my favorite. I can totally just visualize him in the booth and everything. Okay. So we have no other choice. This is the only way we can go. Can't jump, can't get past here, so let's go downstairs. Oh, God. Here we go. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um, oh. Who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about, rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay. Can do. From the top. And he actually resets the game, which is another one of my favorite things. So we're back here in the office. Uh, apparently... He didn't like the options you guys made, or chose from, rather. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Nothing appears to be different. Oh, wait a minute. I've never seen a computer on like that. These are all on now. Oh, and I can turn them off. Cool. Click the doorknob again. Okay. Oh, to my office, you mean. Let's do it. I'll click the doors again. Can we click on 430 again? No, it doesn't do anything this time. Alright. Let's go ahead on. Maybe uh, maybe the computers have been on. I just haven't, haven't really been paying attention to it. Alright, we're back to here and the doors are shut. When Stanley... Wait. Wait, what? No, I... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over. Completely fresh. Everything should be... 
Or did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Oops. Did you move the story somewhere or a... Oh, God, did I? Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Did I actually alter it? I wasn't supposed to turn off the monitors. Oh my god, that's insane. I want to go this way, obviously, because it's the only way that's blocked off. Uh, let's go through here. Is this... Oh, this just takes us right here, okay. We can go in there. Inner guild, every, everyone knows what you did. They're just holding back to let you torture yourself. Ah, uh, sounds like I'll grade say school it. all over This again. is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? Do we? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. But it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? All right. Oh, we're, we're actually back. Okay. He didn't trust me enough to go make a selection on my own. Okay, let's okay, close gone. that again. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. All right, so they're monitoring. Okay, this one's on again. So I'm not going to turn that off. I'm going to see if that makes a difference. Okay, so these are the same computers that we're on, so don't touch anything. Don't touch anything, <laughs> and then we're fine. Right? What the no, the doors are gone! It's just an empty room now! What on earth? Maybe if I- okay, hang on a second, I have an idea. Maybe if I turn off the monitors, the doors will come back. Let's turn off one monitor. No, nothing. Turn off the other one. Alright, let's go turn off the computers again. We'll see if maybe the doors come back when I do that. Although I don't know if those are actually adjust. No, they're not going to change anything. All right. Well, let's just go see what happens. I guess. Okay. Yep. It's worse. <laughs> it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Seems like the only logical possibility here, unless we can go up. All right. Let's do it. Oh boy. Do we miss anything? I turned those off. Can I turn them back on? No. Okay, so that's important actually, I'm sure. And I can <laughs> I can climb on 419's desk. We we learned about that, right? Can I make the jump? Ah, uh, oh, that was close. All right. Well, that uh -huh. Oh, what the hell? I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. Oh, well that was oddly sexual. Here we go. No, wait. What? Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Oh god. <laughs> I don't even I don't even understand how this is happening. This is melting my brain. And Kyle's here. Hey, Kyle. I think I broke it. Now this well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. <laughs> Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It... Is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? I remember you know being what? in an office. Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! <laughs> Congratulations! I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid yes. off, so good job. Man, if someone had subscribed at that point, that would have been no, perfect. I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time, I have to restart. <laughs> yes, there we go. <laughs> oh, Lumi, thank you. Thanks, Lumi. Thank you for subscribing. You were just moments shy of the perfect opportunity for it, but I'm glad I at least got to see it. Thank you, Lumi. Oh my god, what is this? Right. I'm not even paying attention. I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? 
I love that they included the trademark symbol within the subtitles for the Stanley, the Stanley Parable Adventure Line, Bad and Pending. So clearly, we need to stray off the line whenever possible, right? Except we couldn't go through there before. Can I go through? Ooh, ooh I, I, gotta, I gotta make a decision. I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna divide the path. Back into the room of nothing. No, right up to the line from now on. Oh, come on! Say something funny. Remark, wittily. Quip about the emptiness of the room. Fine. Freaking stupid narrator, make him go on a freaking line. I don't go on the line. I want to go in there. That's stupid. Is there any other option? I don't think so. Ooh! Free cell. Can I get on- I, oh, I can get on his desk. No, I can't. Oh. I am owned by the line. You All see? Right. The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley. To destiny. To destiny! Oh, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Uh, don't, Simply don't by the act of moving me. forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Self. Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. <laughs> now we can both agree that the nature of existence oh, is in fact a byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence, right? I guess. Okay. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Relatively whoa, 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 whoa. speaking, maybe. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Oh my god! <laughs> yes! Yes! Perfect! Oh my god, look at the line! You guys probably can't even hear me right now! <laughs> oh my god! This is the best! <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. This is completely out of character. Ooh, it's time to whittle down a bit. <laughs> this zigzag. Follow it exactly. my favorite thing that's happened in this game so far. I have to follow the line up the wall, you're right! I can't even hear myself think! Holy shit! <laughs> 44 and 32 Wait, what the hell? How do we get back here? Oh my god, this is so confusing. Okay, up on the ceiling. Here we go. Cut the music. Whoa. Go back and look at that fern. What? Stanley, this? this fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Oh my god. This is the most important shrub I've ever seen. OTI Fern, that's what that is. I finally understand the emote. <laughs> oh my god. That's what it is. That's basically what my face is right now. I'm so confused, but I love it. 
Okay, I remember it. I remember every detail. Every discoloration. Every leaf, every branch. Here we go. It's not a fern, it's a mineral. I understood that reference. What the hell? Wait, what? We're back at the office? No. No, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Line, you're being a dick. We just came from here. Do I have to go back to my office? Hello, Vapid. Good to see you. I, uh, I'm very confused. But I remember a fern. I remember a fern. Oh, wait, we couldn't go in here before. Curious. Hmm. Okay. The line is actually taking- oh god, we're back. Oh no, 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 not again, line! How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you- Oh, I can't take this anymore, to hell with it. Restart. Art. Oh. I like that room. I love that even the references to line as just one word are still trademarked. <laughs> That's my favorite. Okay, here we go. You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? Good We're point. intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Ooh, I clicked on this door. That sounds like a good idea. This is the fourth reset, isn't it? Now. Yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. I'm feeling a, br a bit Schrodingered right now. Oh, God. Oh, oh here, here no, we go. not you again. <laughs> Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. We should be fine. Just ignore it. <laughs> the it is trademarked. That's so good. There are jokes in the subtitles. That is hilarious. That you'd never see if you didn't have those on. I'm just ignoring it. Just don't, just don't look at it. Pretend it's not here. Any third person references to the line must be trademarked as well. Oh, this is different. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. I'm okay. gonna go the other way. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere. Which means that somewhere, the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. It's hard to argue with that. Oh, he's not, even, he's not giving me a choice. I want to go this way. <laughs> what the hell is this? Oh, hold up, what's this? Hmm. Hmm. A confusion <laughs> ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game what, eight, eight times? Eight times. That's really how all this goes? <laughs> it's all... Determined? Nonsense so now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this... this... thing... wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really... No, it can't be. I... I don't want it to be. I... I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the 
the timer to stopped? Uh-oh. Does that mean, um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. I guess now we just wait, you know. I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story, wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey, though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime... Oh, God. <sighs> that scared the hell out of me. <laughs> I was, like, reading along with him, too. Oh, jeez. Uh, sorry for triggering heart attacks, everyone. Oh, jeez. There we go. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Alright, so I don't actually rightly remember what was supposed to happen after the fifth restart, so this is all gonna be fresh in my mind still. Oh, the fern! The fern, you're right! Oh my god, where's the fern? That's not it. That's not the fern. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Okay, so this is the same dialogue that he had before. You can tell. There are subtle differences when he's trying to sound the same. Okay, the doors are back. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go on the right again. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Am I missing something, I wonder? Hmm. Wow. Yes. This room. What a What room. a beautiful room. I don't think there's anything what happening a, in here. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Okay, we could go this way again. Hmm. I think I Let's let's repeat the and cycle so he maybe. Detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Perhaps if we duplicate the cycle here, we'll have some kind of interesting experience. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now, in order to get back, he needed to go um. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. From here, it's, um, left. Everyone's saying, oh, no, 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 don't do this, it's all the same. Oh, is it actually the same? Oh. <laughs> okay, so we've reached the end of that cycle. Hmm. Uh-oh. Well, I don't want to do that. Let's begin the game again. All right. Oh, there's a phone call. Wait, what? This is completely different. Good morning. Thank you for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. We are confirming your shipment of 1,327 cardboard boxes to your place of work. Can you verify that this is correct? Yes. Excellent. Your order will arrive shortly. Thank you again for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. <laughs> All right. Well, this is very different now. It must just be because I reset on my own. Interesting. I think we can actually read this one. For the love of God, please unplug me. <laughs> I can't. I can't quite make it out. <laughs> it's the copy machine talking to us. Um. All right. So, cardboard boxes are being delivered. The narrator actually hasn't said anything yet. Huh. When Stanley oh, came to a is. set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. All right, let's go left. So far, so good. 
time hasn't changed. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. <laughs> I've actually seen all these slides, but they're still hilarious. They're really good stuff. Uh, guys, I am gonna, I'm playing for another good 15 minutes or so here, so I think we'll see another option from the beginning, but do keep in mind I'm kind of just going organically about this whole thing, so if I don't go in the particular direction you want, I do apologize. Everyone is unique. You most of all. <laughs> oh, this is... This is fantastic. <laughs> things but with money to buy more things? <laughs> okay. This is another one of those instances where you need to get the game yourself so you can see all the wonderful things that they have inside of here. Hello. Room closet. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Nah, -uh. There's something here. Shut the there was door. nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Oh, he's lying. The floor is going to open out from underneath me. It's totally it was gonna baffling happen. that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. <laughs> he wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. <laughs> what is F.A. <laughs> literally just standing there. Are you, are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. Oh, right, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I've, never had, I've never heard it You do realize there's no choice that or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. That's a but valid it didn't point. It occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. They wrote like seven lines of dialogue for you regarding it. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom <laughs> closet ending was my favorite. <laughs> I hope your friends find this concerning. I love the way they wrote that. <laughs> All Stanley was fast. fat and ugly and really, really stupid. <laughs> He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That or with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> oh my god. I love this well, game I've so much. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. Oh. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. Huh? He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. Oh, okay. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Right. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer. All right, Making then. sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. I'm right. a little confused. When you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Into the hallway? What do I do here? Like the dawn of the bear's dead, guys. Grandpa Bear is here to save the day. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. All right, then. I need to go back inside. You, too? Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? Fungus? 
Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. <laughs> I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. I need to find a fungus. Let's go back out. And then back in. Right? No. <laughs> We're literally sitting in a broom closet. Oh god. Alright. I'm out of there. I think I'm, I'm, Coming I'm to done experiencing case, that. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Nah, no we didn't. Obviously we didn't do that. Like downstairs. And we found the, the lair of a hobo. Interesting. But Stanley just couldn't do it. You're damn right. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting he had left his post during work hours, he might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he <laughs> believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. We're going in a loop. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange, this can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> then he imagined himself <laughs> soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. Oh, it was God. so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Good question. Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, <laughs> who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too, surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job all I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Oh, God. 
Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. Jesus Christ. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day, the very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Huh. That was actually an ending. Wow. <laughs> okay, well... I got killed by crazy. Of my own. Well, that was interesting. I'm back in control now. Let's see if that changed anything. All of his Whoa, were gone. the boxes what are here. Mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. The boxes have arrived. <laughs> Wait, I can't go over here anymore. Um, the window. Um, which window? Which window are you guys talking about? I can't open that one. I can't use the window. Okay. The boxes are in the way. So if you just if you just joined us, uh, the run in which I just died. I answered the phone and a lady said, hey, we need to deliver like a thousand three hundred and seventeen cardboard boxes or something like that. So now that has completely impeded my progress to the other side of the rooms there and those boxes are <laughs> scattered about literally everywhere inside the office. Okay. Climb the boxes. Become the boxes. I am the boxes. I can't climb the boxes. Can I? No. Alright. Well. Uh, we got time for one more. I think. So, let's get to it. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Alright, let's go right again. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I have done so. The it's lounge nice was sublime, a work of art. What was it about this room that called so deeply and so personally to st but eager to get back to business, Stanley oh, took the first open here. door on his left. Alright, so we haven't gone straight through here, but I'm pretty sure that just takes us to the meeting room, so let's go this way. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Indeed. Can we go through this door, I wonder? Hey, there's no... Whoa! There's no barrier here. Can I... Can I fall? Is there a... Okay, there... Oh, this is like a... This is like a little elevator thing, I see. So I can't go through there, I can't go through there. It looks like there's a door here, but I can't access it. Alright, let's ride this, I guess. 
Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Speaking of getting off on the I'm wrong foot. Enemy, really. Oh my god, it actually worked! <laughs> but in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. <laughs> Goddamn Good right job, I did. Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. Oh, that's so good. That's actually an ending, too. That's an ending. That's a legit ending. All right, well, that's a perfect time for us, guys. Thanks so much for watching the first half of the Bear Taffy Live show tonight. I'm thinking the Stanley Parable deserves at least another encore into the Saturday show. Uh, so we've got a lot more in store for us. I think we only scratched the surface, even with the, th with the uh, time that I spent before tonight. We've got a lot more in store. So again, I'm going to run some ads here. We're going to go into the Spelunky Daily Challenge after the quick break here. Thanks so much for hanging out with me on the Bear Taffy Live Show. Follow the stream if this is your first time here. Close the door first. All right, fine. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed, then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure beyond any doubt was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. What the hell? Is this going to be the same thing? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, so that was weird. <laughs> but for sure, we gotta end now, because this is just gonna take us into a whole another freaking area of the game. So, this is gonna be it for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching um, the first bit of the Stanley Parable. Follow the stream. We're gonna be going live again on Saturday, November 16th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is the next time you'll catch the Stanley Parable here on the Bear Taffy Twitch page. Uh, thanks so much for those of you that uh, decided to subscribe to the channel today. Much obliged. We've got another hour in store. we got some Spelunky on the way right now. Uh, feel free to follow the stream as well as follow me on Twitter to get notified of when it goes live next time. I'm gonna play a bit of ads, play some music for y'all, and I'll see you in just a